I can actually try to port that rule. It should be pretty easy um, manually to um, to a DNR rule in the Charlie to the live events. I don't know if we'll be able to demo triggering that rule, um, but at least we can do something close to that. So I copied it. I'm just going to go here. Uh, so these are my DNR rules. So the, the rules that will get applied in real time. So um, I'm going to call this test rule. And I'm going to go here. We want to adjust this a little bit to be into to the two components that are relevant here. There we go. And then the response, which is all this. There we go. Um, so the response we will leave as is. It's pretty straightforward. Um, here, I'm just going to remove the things that say that this rule should apply on artifacts. Um, instead, I want it to apply to, I, I, I could specify EDR, it's the default is through the EDR. Um, and the slight difference is that um, it's going to look like this. So that's the, uh, the the prefix of the. So that's the path within the event, and you'll see exactly what that looks like. Um, that is what it should look like. I'm just going to create this. Um, just got to copy it in case there's a problem. Uh, I need one more thing. Here we go. I need to specify the event, the type of event that I'm targeting. Create. There we go. Role created. And it's right there. So if I go in, yep, perfect. I just wanted to show, like, help visualize a little bit for, for you. So, um, right, the, the, the part that might seem a little bit more like voodoo is kind of the path in here. Um, so the path in our rule that, that says like, Hey, here's the value I want to compare and, and, and decide whether or not I should, you know, alert on something. Um, you see it's event slash event, all caps, uh, system event ID. Um, so if you, we switch back here, you can see, it's just kind of like an X path. So it's event, event, uh, system event ID. So it's just. You know, it's like a path under the directory where I'm just saying, here's, you know, in the JSON where you want to go and find the value you're interested in. Um, so it's really, it's really straightforward. Um, it'll take you a couple minutes to like rock it and then you're good to go.